Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where we teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish. And this is part 73, how to paint exhaust soot on vehicles or models that have exhaust pipes. And today I will be painting exhaust soot on uh, this model. It is a Signar Warjack from the game War Machine. And uh, today we'll be using a combination of shades, non oil and Draconoff Nightshade, and then two shades of gray, gray liner and a Ministratum gray. And finally, Necron Compound, just the very tips of the chimney uh, or the exhaust pipe to create a worn effect. So we'll start off by giving a wash to the entire area. Uh, this wash just gets the area basically prepared for the for the dusting. And the dusting combined with the shading will look really nice. And we'll use a one-to-one -one mix of Draken of Nightshade and non-oil. That way it's a bluish black. It kind of looks like the... Um, the oxidation of the metallics at the same time, or at least the uh, the copper parts of the metallics, similar to what we did with the oxide paint from the Citadel range. But as you can see, it just tints it down, and uh, this is basically going to be the area in which we'll be dry brushing uh, afterwards. But as you can see, it really does get in the recesses and gives that nice tinting, um, which, as I said, combined with a nice dusting of the two grays, will look really lo much like a exhaust soot in the end. And when it was dry, as you can see, you just let it dry completely. Now it's time for gray liner. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush the gray liner in several layers of dry brushing, just light dry brushing at a time, and work my way downwards, trying to build up a gradient of dark at the top to uh, near the, the edge of the exhaust pipe to lighter as we approach the end of the shading from the previous step. So of course I'm going against the grain with my dry brushing, just going light and dusting it a little bit at a time. And the per dry brushing is perfect for this particular method because it has that dusted appearance, which is very synonymous with the, uh, the exhaust pipes and soot collection on the exhaust pipes. I just take my dry brush and a little bit at a time, successfully dry brushing downwards so it's darkest at the top, lightest toward, or just building up a nice gradient of the uh, Gray liner and gray liner is perfect for this. If you don't have gray liner, I'd recommend maybe an Abaddon black or at least an, uh, a combination of Abaddon black and a Mr. Adam gray. But the great thing about gray liner is that it's a dark matte gray, so it's perfect for mimicking the color of soot. As you see, after a single step, the soot already looks like it's on it, but we'll go, we'll go a few more steps further because uh, you don't want to just do a, have a one-step tutorial. That would be pretty boring. As you see, just building up that nice gradient of colors, and there's now a nice, nice blend. And now we're going to add some Ministratum Gray to the gray liner. So I'm going to do a one-to-one -one mix of a Ministratum Gray and gray liner. That way it's like an intermediate gray, and uh, I'm just going to dust it on the top parts so that it, this will represent the dry soot that's the older soot and uh, just more uh, just drier so I'm doing a very very light dry brush over the previous step and as I said it just it gives more texture and make the exhaust pipe a little more interesting to look at once again going against the grain with my dry brushing and just gives a little more texture to the areas as it represents older soot. And finally, this is an optional step, Necron Compound, which is a nice dry compound. It's just basically pure uh, paint, you know, very little medium. And what I'm going to do is I'm just doing a downward motion with my dry brushing. I'm just trying to hit the very edges of the chimney exhaust, because that way it, uh, it this will represent the chipped paint, you know, uh, the chipped soot, because as soot dries, it just tends to chip away from the exhaust pipes, so the very edges sometimes will show metallics. And this is just to, to re-put in that, that effect onto the exhaust pipe um, on top of them. And that's it. So now he's completely looking good. As I said, it's just a few quick steps and it looks really realistic and definitely mimics um, exhaust on a chimney or exhaust pipe. 
So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101, and stay tuned for next week's episode, part 74, which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out the warp, click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my other YouTube channel, where not only we get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes, you'll get to see at least 60 start to finish painting tutorials, an Airbrush 101 series, face-off episodes, battle reports, just some awesome wargaming content. So go ahead and check out the warp, I think you'll love it. So thank you as always for watching, until next time this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.